Taps, a 21-gun salute, even a chopper flyby, all to pay tribute to the many greater Cincinnati men and women in blue who've been lost in the line of duty. This was a culmination of Police Week right here in the Queen City. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons is in the West End with the special dedications. A powerful conclusion to an emotional day of remembrance. After a somber service in Fountain Square, motorcade and color guard lined the way as dozens of local police, family and friends marched to the police memorial in the West End. After medals and applause honoring these men and women who made it home, the ceremony continued, raising flags and hanging heads for those who never did. Cliff George, that was in 1987. And then uh, we had a decade without any loss, but in 97, a scene that I was on, Dan Pope and Ron Jeter were both lost on the same night. And uh, we lost Kevin Crayon in between that and losing Sonny Kim. And officers like Cincinnati Patrolman David Cole, who in 1974 died trying to stop two men from robbing a convenience store. He was shot five times, the last two execution style. Today we feel just a tiny fraction of your loss, and we say how truly sorry we are. 49 years later, his widow stood by and listened as police honored Cole's sacrifice that day. We were just gotten married a, for about, uh, we were a month from being two years, and you know, we had our future ahead of us, and it really meant so much, and I appreciate it because David and all the other officers deserve to be honored today and every day for their sacrifice. Whether half a century later or nearly two months, their sacrifice is not forgotten. Killed in a March 31st crash that took his life and that of another driver, Unwin now joins a long list of officers lost too soon. I think it's important that people back them and support them and do all that they can for them. Cincinnati Police Chief Teresa Thiege presented three current officers with medals of valor for their courage and heroism in three separate incidents last year. In the West End, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.